Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, back at it here again with another episode of Duffy! Episode 3 of Chapter 1, yeah! Alright, we're back with these guys. I probably don't really know it as elevator to basement, which just happened to have a lot of cables. Okay. Elevator to prison. Formerly known as Elevator the Basement, which just happened to have a lot of okay, cables. Got it. Oh no, it's a monster! Two monsters. Brood and Rangers. We haven't seen these guys yet. Okay. Um. Okay, we're gonna get. Um. Suji to compliment them, hopefully. You're gonna defend. You told Suji to compliment the enemy. Uh, are you serious? What could can I say about someone trying to kill us? Oh, Susie, if you're stuck, why not try saying something you wish someone would say to you? <laughs> you are unbanned from free ham sandwich day. No one ever said that to me before. Clever, clever. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Smells like crystal. Sweet, awesome. All right, Ralph, so you're gonna spare the yellow one. Susie, Susie complimented the enemy? Your outfit is not disgusting. Ralph says, spare, Brood and Ranger. The king never said that to me before. Oh, this is so good now. Oh my god. Susie, you're so good. Oh my god, this is great. I love this. Smells like crystal. No, 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 go back. Spare. Susie can spare now, yay. And oh my god, this is, okay, I'm so happy right now. Man, you had me worried there, Toby. I, I gotta be honest. I was like, what the hell is this character? What is, the, what is going on? <laughs> ah, does that heal us? Okay, good. I wasn't sure, because like, earlier there was that guy that was able to heal us right next to a save point, and I was like, does that mean that the save points don't heal us? But I guess they do, so we're good. Rudin's room. Yes, that's a door. Let's go in. What do you got here? Normal everyday riches acquired from a legitimate source. Yeah, totally. Looks like a family photograph. I believe you. <laughs> we sold all of our beds to replace them with treasure. My back hurts, but life has never been better. Hey, it's you. You're that peaceful lightener. Whoa, you didn't tame the beast that was tormenting us. Beast? What beast? Oh, you even taught the beast to talk. Here, have a choco diamond. You got the choco diamond. What the hell's a choco diamond? Uh, not equipment, I don't think. It's probably food. Oh yeah, it tells you. In uh, Undertale, you have to select info, but in this one you don't. Uh, it's quite small, but some people really like it. Question mark, question mark, HP. Alright, I wanna... I wish we could go back. Because I want to get that fixed. Oh well. No, I don't want to fight you again. Leave me alone. Okay, we can't go that way. There's some stairs that go up there. No, don't fight me. Okay, back outside. Guess we're going up those stairs. Unless, unless, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, to the top floor. Currently stuck at the top floor. Does so someone rise it down? Okay, well, thanks for breaking the fourth wall with the video game logic. As usual. I love it, though. I'm not complaining. I know my tone of voice made it sound like I was complaining, but no, I love that shit. Yeah, we love that shit. Do more, do more fourth wall breaking, Toby Fox. <laughs> He's like, oh, don't worry about that. Wait till you play chapters 3, 4, and 5, and 2. I haven't even played 2 yet. Or even this one. I'm so excited. This is so fun. So the worms have decided to crawl uh. and play. Who's there? Yeah, that's fools. Who's this guy? I'm Luke's card. Thou greatest adversary. Thou may have clawed this past all those other conundrums. But thou were created by utter weaklings. Now prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thou life. Coil worms. Really? 
That was so hard, man. Was, I've never had done a puzzle so hard. All the Zelda water temples I've beaten and stuff, man. This was nothing. This that was nothing compared to this. God damn it! <laughs> that was fucking great. You opened a treasure chest. Inside was club sandwich. You put club sandwich in your items. Castle bathroom, royal flush, currently occupied. Can we, like, bother them? Maybe it's kind of rude, I guess. I just thought it'd be funny. But you could knock on the door and be like, Hey, is somebody in there? That ever happened to you guys in a public bathroom? Isn't that annoying? Anyway. Oh, shit. Okay. Head Kathy blocked the way. Quietly. Explore it. <laughs> um. This is fun, buddy. You ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy. And hell no. Oh, Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. But shut up, that's not the problem. Are you sure? Alright, look, wise guy. Alright, look, wise guy, I'll show you. Watch this. Ahem. So, uh, come here often? Head Hathi felt awkward and left. Hey, get back here and let me play with you! <laughs> Okay. Okay, we got patterns now. Um, uh, these are, I guess these are different kind of hathies. Yeah, I mean, they're called head hathies. Alright, let's try this again. Hell no, let's see where else we do it. Or suppose we can't be helped. Healthy, your beauty is just transcendent. Your hair is like a waterfall of. Wait, um, do you have hair or head half to felt awkward in that? Oh dear, wait! Not so easy, huh? Alright, let's do this. Oh, they're going in fucking different directions. I thought it was gonna go down like before. Alright. I'll show you how it's done. You flirted with head happy. It was highly effective. See, told you. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You won't got your XP and sixty dollars. Okay. Let's see, we got this room. It's like a bed. Will you rest here? No, you won't. It's not your bed. <laughs> Looks like Hathi sold all the gems and replaced them with beds. Looks extremely well slept. Hathi looked at you kindly. Your sins against Hathi were forgiven. Okie dokie. Oh, let me guess. They come back. Yep. Okay. Is this the way we came from? I think it was. Yeah. Extendence. I guess castle actually. Um, pretty cool. This little. Whoa, man. <laughs> okay, that happened. I guess it, honestly it is a little bit confusing. But that's okay. I'm a master of things that are confusing and solving them. Oh, well, what's that? Never mind. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, haha. That was guys. Really think that all. That was all I asked? Wonge! It's time for you to feel my real power! Behold, my ultimate puzzle! How about you? Are you serious? The same fucking puzzle? Oh no, it's not. It's got two, pa two spaces away from the other one. Ah. Ah uh ha! -huh. Ha ha ha! Gullible ones, that wasn't really my ultimate puzzle. I've always been one right here. Con Kamushu? No. Alrighty then. Oh boy. Party time! Alright guys, let's dance. Look at that boombox go. It's dancing better than all three of us. 
Kathy is the second party member is the healer. She was in charge of catering the party. Unfortunately, the cake she commissioned was, was destroyed in a field somewhere. Oh yeah. Hey, Susie, that was you. I'm the first party member. I'm in charge of the DPS dance and party soundtrack. Okay. It's a bed for three people or one three-headed person. Interesting. Like this person. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet. Ha! Which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat so many you choke. Do they eat sports? Then we can all play Twister. Just stay out of our way. We lose even by ourselves. <laughs> it's a boombox. It's playing clubs music. It's a giant baseball for parties. Alright guys, enjoy- wait, there's some trees, I wanna look at those. It's a tree, for parties. Yeah! Party tree! Okay. Is this the way to go? I think it is. I wanna make sure we explore every facet of this little area though, real quick. On the right was Puzzle Man. Okay, we got these things. I want to light them all up and see if anything happens. Okay, that was a noise. Uh... What did that do? Oh, oh hello. Sorry, Ruxel's card was standing here. Sorry. Sorry, I'm sighing. I didn't get much sleep. Yeah, I feel you on that. Oh hey, we did get something out of that. Cool. You opened the treasure chest inside with revivement. You put revivement in your items. Now we can continue on what? With our adventure. Yes. Oh, we got a shop here. Welcome. Oh, it's you again. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Uh, what is thine interest about yourself? I am Duke of Puzzles. Whoops, it's card. My hobbies include calligraphy, law keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Artist thou one of my admirers, one? Why sell to us? Ha 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 ha! So I might amass us the funds, worms. An army of funds, so that I may crush us thou like fermented grapes into a most delicious and adult beverage. Vengeance! Ha 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 ha! Oh, how I amuse myself! Um, the king. Our lord king art a cruel and terrifying monarch. However, he is also brilliant, for he decided to appoint me as Duke of Puzzles. After pretty much if everything else was found or placed inside a cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. Yeah, okay, that's what that is. Anyway. Wait, about the king, I think is what it said. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always asks me the worst queries, and calleth me his lesser dad. Our, our, our relation is none, you little water beetle. I placate you for your father's sake. I do not wish it to hear your MP3s. I would rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he, anyhow? <laughs> okay, so the king's son. Um... Okay, so he's in there for that guy, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't need it anymore. Oh, I might have been... Shit, I didn't check Susie's equipment ha yet, have I? I don't know. Whatever. Not gonna worry about it now. Wooks, crooks. Uh, fragrant sauce, heals 50 HP, brave axe, weapon, heroic and cool. Susie can carry it, obviously, because it's an axe. Dainty scarf, weapon, homemade, healing up. Um, brings attack down, but magic up too. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Amber card. Uh, hold on, BRB. I may have sold that amber card for no reason. Yeah, she ain't got shit. Oh, never mind. 
And you, I'm gonna give you the dainty scarf. Because we're not using attack power anyways, and your magic will go up and that'll work. And your fluffiness, yay. All right, now we can sell the ragger. Because we don't need that anymore. Uh, this one. Okie dokie. Give me a couple of these too. I think that's it. Let me make sure I don't need anything else. Um, I don't really need that manual, but whatever. How much space? Okay, I don't have any space. All right, bye bye, bye bye, bye. Oh, there's a door here that goes to an elevator. That's, that door goes upstairs. It came from this way, right? Yeah. The room here, we haven't explored yet. It's a hole made recreationally. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. There's a salsa buried in the ground here. It's a hole, presumably dug for fun. It's some kind of digging implement. It's a music player. Listen to the contents? Sure. It's full of cartoon spot noises. Alright. Our bicycle is lovingly tucked in the bed. Aww. Is that it for this place? Well, maybe we unlocked another item somewhere. I mean, we may have to sell something. I don't know. Okay, then we have this elevator. That does what? Ride the elevator? No, let me go check up these stairs real quick. Then we'll check the elevator out. Maybe. Uh, shit. This feels like plot moving on forward area. Yep, that's what I thought. Enough worms. Now may have cheated to mine puzzles, but in combat, thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with. Oh, you again. Whatever this is. Oh, it's very familiar. But its crown looks different. You look the same. Yes, with my control crown, I may control any disshaped life form. Meh. Oh no, it looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful. But I'm certain this creature will feel it the relief when it sees how much more pain thou will be in. Yeah, whatever. Here it comes. Again. Susie's idea. Susie, you want to act? Oh, what's your idea? Um, uh, well, how do I say uh, this? I kind of need you for this one. Don't uh, forward, Susie. I'll uh, help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw a say at it. Press Y to determine the angle. Okay. Shit. Okay, press Y to determine the power. The crown loosened a little. Hell yeah. Good job, guys. Oh no. We're getting a tackle. Damn it. Alright. Just don't make Susie your target next time, okay? I don't know what Bowling's gonna do. Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh shit. Can I? Fuck. Crown is 20% loose. Yeah, I know. Try this again. Try this again! Okay, good. We hit him in his legs. Yay. No, I ran right into that. Oh, balls. Okay. No, it's me that got hurt this time. That's okay. Um... Let's try bowing. Fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna just defend. Well, shit. 
Okay, dying is more accurate, but it doesn't get off as much percent, I guess? Alright, let's try this again. Yay. Oh, come on! You're not gonna go for the center, you're just gonna go right at me. Let's see if we can get... Um... This guy to do. Hold on. Okay, that requires all three of our turns, so I gotta be careful with how much oh, can I do that if I think that somebody's gonna die. Well, I got the revive bins, but I don't wanna have to let anyone die, so... Oh, we can dispel this time. Why don't you eat... Nothing, and just defend. You too. We did it, we did it, we did it, yay! You won, yay. We got 20 bucks, that's it? Why, brilliant, just brilliant! I knew you could do it, thou great hero, thou! Thou seest that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. Uh. Would you luck be with you, heroes? Uh, okay, that was. that happened. Okay, let's go back. We'll go check the elevator. And also, we can use a save point. Right, I'm gonna go buy another, whatever the healing item he has is, this one. Come by any time, good ones. Yes, thank you. All right, the elevator. Yep, that's what I thought, okay. I would have thought that it would... Okay, I guess that is the top floor, which means we're about to face the king, I'm guessing? Well, the second to top floor. I am not fighting you again, little buddy. Although, this time you don't have the crown, but still... Whoa, this is trippy. Okay, no, it's not. It's just a throne room that looks weirdly colored, but really cool. I like it, obviously. I don't mean weirdly in a bad way. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. It's just really trippy, which is really cool, obviously. Riches, they shine with avarice. All banners, they seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Yeah, I see that. Alright guys, let's go this way. <sighs> the non-existent music is foreboding as fuck. What are we gonna do? Hey, there's Lancer. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the lightners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong, and where are they now? Um... <gasps> hey! It's nice to meet you! Lancer... Lancer, my son. Y yes father! Do you remember what I told you? It don't get too attached? You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. N no, they aren't. What did you say? <laughs> let him go. Ha 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 ha. You want me to let him go? And then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. 
What will it be, Lightmas? Y'all listen to him, Susie. Help! Help! Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightmas. What the? You traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? Oh, he looks just like his son, but weirder and bigger. I'm the bad guy! Alright. He tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer! Your very existence goes against our own. By the king's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. How dare you come here, Lightners? King's mouth gave a berserk smile. Defense boost and 25% TP. Okay. You encourage the party. The party's defense race for this turn. You left to not left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. Okay. This is happening. Oh shit. Alright, that didn't last long good. Battlefield is rumbling. Um let's try this. Usually tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then if I curse, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. You dare return to torment us once again? Hmm. Ralse tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. No, naivety. Sorry. Now, perish with the pathetic lightning as you wash it. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Ralph says, "Well, it's changing." Talk became to a heel. Be gone. We have fresh. We have found fresh purpose. Oh, Jeebus. Oh no. Ouchies. Ouchies. Ouchies, ouchies, ouchies. Okay, well we can use that dual heal now. Oh, no we can't. Fuck. Hmm. <laughs> Your soul, your soul turn is power on Ralse. Ralse, cast dual heal. So the night has appeared. Not much I can do about that. Battlefield is rumbling. Courage. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Oh, that didn't help. Or maybe it did. The night. The night that pulls the mountains from the earth. Oh, this again, but it's different. Okay. Man, they really got creative with these box and heart patterns in this game, huh? I got the creative in Undertale. This is just like almost mind blowing in a way. Alright, let's see. King smiles, babble indecipherably. Your soul shine is power on Ralse. Susie, spare King. Oh, yeah, it's not like Undertale or Spare actually might do something. Unless their name, well, their name's not yellow. 
holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Oh, world. Jesus. Come on. Yay. Uh. Ho oh, ho ho. Do you see now our new focus? Oh, it's going faster. I feel the rumbling. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Darkness parts from the fountain. Uh, let's try it. See what happens. Your soul chat is power on Susie. Susie is red buster. Then you may see what it's like to live in despair. Okay, so damage him. Though. I don't know if we're supposed to damage him or not, though. Battlefield is rumbling. No, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Oh yeah, that's again. Oh no, it's different this time. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh. Oh. You're quite strong, aren't you? Yeah. Especially considering I don't have any experience and we're all level one. Um hmm. Give a berserk smile. If I keep fighting you like this, then Ah this is what sucks about using your frickin' keyboard. The battlefield is rumbling. Seems that King's mouse babble indecipherably. Shall not fail you. Can we just be done with this fight already. This is like okay, good. Wow, I got my wish already. Enough is enough. I see that I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our battle. Me too. You, your time is perfect, man. Lighteners, I perhaps I I have been too cruel. The truth is. I was not always this way. There was once a time where darkness and nightmares lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I too do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. It's hard to talk when you're gritting your teeth. I never do that. I just thought maybe if I grip my teeth, it'll make him sound more unique than uh, other people I've used deep voices like that for. Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes, friends. That sounds lovely. G g my, my apologies. I am, I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Uh, 
Good. You should be all healed up. How do you feel? That's good. Oh my god. No. No more blood talk. You. you. Did you all see you pick it up? Chris? Oh, spell me little bullocks. What the hell is happening? Can I get up? Move! You, you're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh that you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say? Come on, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people, piss me off! Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> Or what? You'll kill me? Mm. Yeah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid light now. You honestly think that you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Mm. Yeah. But they might. Lasso? For everyone? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the dad. <laughs> now I'm the dad, motherfucker. <laughs> you can't be dad. I'm dad now. <laughs> that's, that's great. You idiots! The lightners are your enemies! Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes! I think someone needs a time out! Go to your room, Dad! <laughs> no! <laughs> you alright, Chris? Chris! Sorry. Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm, I'm sorry, because I healed the king, we almost, we almost, Susie, you were right, I, I was foolish to think that we could act so, so soft to everyone, this isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Yeah, it's complicated, yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight, but if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about, oh, Susie, you're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya! Yeah. No, Ralsei! Huh? Chris, you wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. No, I don't want to. Sorry, everyone, but... Come on, let's at least say bye to Lancer. Okay. Alright. Bruce? Susie? You came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Ready to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. We are, yeah. Wonderful work, mine amigos. <laughs> mine amigos. Thou hast toppled this, the tyrant. Freed star Christ. Truly, as the history shall not forget. The tale of Rook's card and the three heroes. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Big Ego. I'll talk to all you other people if you're still there after I talk to Lancer. Wait, is Lancer out? Oh, hang on a second. There was... Nothing up there. Okay. Oh, here he is. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. 
We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Ho ho ho, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <laughs> Sounds like some pretty good changes. Mm -hmm. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if you if we mess with it? I have no idea. But if it's if, but it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see. I guess. Um. Well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Aw, thanks. You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. Okay. Mamma mia. What a celebration! This calls for a cake! And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it! Cool. Yeah, it definitely wasn't Susie here, that's for sure. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Okay, so we can't go back this way any- uh, Yeah. Okie dokie, artichokey. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure how to- Who- We weren't sure who make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain, but after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. What ho! What about us? Aren't we going to be rescued, restored as kings? Ah, uh, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. <laughs> us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well, but they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. <laughs> What's going on? I slept through everything. Hashtag me. <laughs> Happy looked at you proudly. Kiss. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is honey, I think. Our kingdom is so much hope. I hope that you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B day too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. Duh. You did it! You ousted that rotten tyrant! I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Darn, Horsey, you've done us a big help. Now all of us pieces can live in pieces. Yeah, you may have heard some voices out there. Uh, I look close to an outside sidewalk. It's hard to explain. Um, where I record from is like close to in, in the building that I live in. It's kind of like an apartment in that way, I guess you could say. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sean to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Even a little ball can say something like thank you. Brack Bark, you're absolutely am amazing. Honestly, we owe you. Best, you're the best. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell, if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Okay, I guess that's it then. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I, I just wanted to say, I, I, I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a second? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time, I'll make you lots of mealy cakes, alright? Question mark, 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 question mark. Um, yeah, sure, dude. Haha. Wait, is that a dude or shit? I'm so confused. Well, I'll see you later, Prince. I'll just keep the same voice for you, I guess. I don't know. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but 
feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it, about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! What the hell? Huh? The unused classroom? How'd we get here? And our clothes are back to normal. Hey, Chris! What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Dot dot dot. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. Um, we probably been gone for a really long time. I don't know, whatever. It's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a light switch. It's a worn down stuffed animal. The door is locked. Okie dokie, you're jokey. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. I guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Yeah, that was a fun little adventure. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Okie dokie. The door is locked. The door is also locked. Can we go back to Elvis' classroom? Yeah, but nobody's in there. Okie dokie. Oh, I didn't get to check this out earlier. It looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf. Even in your darkest hour, that one seems to be from a video game. It seems to be not time for class. Locker. It's locked. Well, duh. Oh, it's Miss Toriel's classroom. Miss Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. Uh, <laughs> the throne of the gods. Wow. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Uh... It's a poster of several basic shapes, circle, oval, square, hyper dudeca hyper dudecahedron. Alrighty then. It's a computer. It's desktop wallpaper. It's you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Aw. Some kind of teacher food. Alright, let's go. Ring ring. Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for a half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You're spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Okay, Mom. When is chapter one over? Like, I don't know. How will I know the transition between chapter one and chapter two? Because I wanted to, like, end the episode when chapter one was done. Uh. Gotta go to college. Go to Stubby. Hard! She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. <laughs> Teen Zone. There's an anime review. Read it? No, 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 no. Yes. Teens Corner, monthly tune review, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. 
And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stable than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. <laughs> Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece, Sign the Anonymous Yellow Lizard. If that was Alpha's review, didn't she say she, like, hated the second one? Whatever. Guys. Um, hang on a second. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. Oh. Sorry, um, Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Um, checking something real quick on my phone. Um, Okay, I was just YouTube in chapter two, just having a brief look at the beginning, and it looks like we're not quite there yet. So you look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be Toby Fox putting himself in the game in a way. Um, I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Uh, I, I would love to, but you're in the way. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot Spire Guy. <laughs> Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boone. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, oh no, oh wait, wait, wait. It's uh, that's an style book. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal, so I book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. <laughs> There's a book here, you look the page. It's delicious, this must be what they meant by flavor text. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent, benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 64.23. Consider it, Chris. Uh, wow. Okay. I'll check you out in a second, Undyne. Uh... Holy crap, there's a whole ass town here of people to talk to and things to do. Oh god, there's someone, someone's actually here. I see pizza, you're number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza. Hey, wait, wait a second, I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Um... Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. I see pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll be. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Okay. Coworkers. Ah oh, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue is soft serve, soft serve obsessed. No concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy. Man, that guy, you gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? 
Oh, my co-workers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Hey, hey, look, uh, Astrael. Do you know when Alex is coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times, picking up, for example, chicks, which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time, Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Alright, I guess that's it. Yeah. It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pep, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Icy's Pizza. Man, crazy eyes from Mr. Deeds would love this place. Peanut butter and gumballs. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Icy's Pizza, your family is going to love it. Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Icy's Pizza. Yeah, okay. Ice me up. Ice me up, boss. QC's Diner. Alright, we got some people in here. So, so for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, the cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and... A piece of firewood? I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. But if I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of the year because of it. Those crip those crips were mad work though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Ice Wolf does Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Okay. I didn't know he was talking. Looking cause he didn't talk at all in the last game. Um looking at my looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Should I have made his voice really high? Whatever. Too late now. Uh whatever. Um Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then, y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two would sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got the hot chocolate. On the house, hun. Aw, oh, thanks. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Oh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. <laughs> Alright guys, that was fun. Rave reviews and autographs from various normal townspeople. Yeah, totally. Alright. Let's go talk to Undyne. What's up, Undyne? Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Ascor's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. I just wish something could shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Um... Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why? Did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. Hoo 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 hoo, they're as good as dead. Aw, oh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. <laughs> Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> what? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Alright, nice talking to you, Undyne. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Beautiful. Someone's coming out the window. They just closed the blinds. Well, good thing uh, nobody's out here, you know, being murdered or robbed or anything. <laughs> oh boy. 
It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. I'm sorry. The Okay, that was a fun voice to do. Anyway, <laughs> it's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Sure. Clink. Okay. Oh, look, more doors. It's a diagram showing what you want to Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. No will, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. But really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyway, how's Dragonfly just three? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. It's, I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, well... Maybe... maybe you shouldn't wait. D Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I'd better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Whoa, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. <laughs> All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Was it too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door? Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? No, Al. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to be... Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? <laughs> Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what tough... That's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Wait, what? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Oh, you can bore me right now, family. Chris, even if we've run apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asuka were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asuka's got off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I was just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lamb pie, I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. So, why am I in here? Well, I found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display? Alright, nice talking to you, man. The sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? It's, it's a get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? To chair. Alright, man. Peace. Oh, boy. Here we go. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. Huh. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using icy as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. You looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. Alright guys, that's the hospital.
We saw Undyne. We went to the library already. I think this is the way to the school we already went. Yeah, we came from here. Oh boy. Alright, we have a church. Uh, this way? Oh, it's a graveyard. Person boom, memorial bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Butler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. Oh crap. What did you say? Chris, what a present surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you had sing with us, or even participated to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> I understand. I hope in time you may find the words you seek. Let the angels power light your way. Town Hall. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the mayor's busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Wow. Alrighty then. That's that's great advice. It's a chair, maybe it's into politics. Oh, it's the bear again. The mayor's, the mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and she has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, really. It looked like there was a way out of the town. Okay, but not this way. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, Yeah! Good job, Undyne. Okay, we went that way already. Here we go. It's Sam. Hey, Cooper's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Star. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. What's up? Thanks. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, got anyone I should know better? Me. Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. You got Sansa's number. Yay! What's up? Store. Behind me? Yeah, that's a grocery store. Uh, of course it's called. What a pain. I don't know what My teacher. Elfis. Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is, uh, purely business. So, uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. <laughs> she's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's gonna lock her door to stop you from eating them. Hey, <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Alrighty then. 
Oh man, all these people I gotta talk to and all this stuff I gotta do right now. Okay. Knock, knock, knock. No response. Put the piston. Trust little bones. Okay. Oh, it is his grocery store. Wow. Okay. This is my house. All right. So that's where we gotta go back to at some point. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things for you in case. Uh, wait. Sorry, I can't right now. I've got my house key, and sorry, Chris. I'll help you later. If that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Anything? Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? How did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um, gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Susie. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I have something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone, so Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Oh, wait. This isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious. You're totally serious. Gosh, maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Gee. Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I, I mean, um, I... She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Alrighty. Wait, was there another option? Nothing. Tell Azzy I said hi, Chris. Well, Chrissy, well, like, what's up? Give Aunt Cody a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh, my God. Can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything, though. Your choice. Uh, Astriel? Oh, my God. Astriel, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when we, when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Ha ha ha, it was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, how's Cody doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked her if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no. And then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. Neighbors. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Christy. She's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino. And then, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. A uh, copycatter? Copysaurus? Copodial? I don't know, she sucks. Is this like an alternate universe, Undertale? I'm so confused. Aw, uh, Chris, if you like want to come in, our cat flap is like always open to you. Hey, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor Beaver. What's your brother Doug? When's your brother Doug gonna come by? Uh huh, huh. My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem he doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> It's a broken grill. It seems like burnt cat food. It smells like burnt cat food. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Chrissy, like a long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Uh, neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? She, doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. Once, her sister served me a coffee, and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a haircut, girl, for, like, your whole body. Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. 
then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. Then they were so good, I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? What happens if I say go away? Aw, oh, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, but I'm joking. But, like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I, like, made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone, and... Like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear, your family went to church, like... Every single day that week. Okay, so it's a uh, it's a different game entirely, apparently. And there's gonna be seven chapters. So it's alternate universe Undertale. Got it. Cool. Knock knock knock. Uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now why don't your parents on home? Oh, it's this guy. It's Dad. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. How are you? How can I? Oh, Chris. Ah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you. Do, I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. It's a flower. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. There are various flowers inside. It's a purple flower protected in a container. Blue. Cyan. Golden, yellow, orange, green. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Small TV on top of some superhero comics. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Open fridge. All it's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. Photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. There are some dirty furs stuck in the drain. It's a door. It's locked. Respects the soil. It's a dirty watering can. It's a note. It says, no rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. You have one month. Oh, no. An air mattress. It's certainly not king size. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could, or use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Yes, these flowers are still picking. Quite hard to take care of them. This. Oh yeah, right over that. So is the other door the same room? Yeah. Say, so, Chris, I was thinking perhaps when Astro comes home. We could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat, doesn't that sound yummy? Then we could all have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but... All right, Dad, I'll see you later. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Love you, Dad. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Classic dad stuff. Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. <laughs> he actually said something this time. 
It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground beneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes in the table. Uh, sure, why not? Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try it from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts, yeah. Okie dokie. I'm trying to remember where we haven't explored yet. Okay, my house is up top over... Oh, I think we have explored everything. At this point. Except for that other direction to the south, maybe. Which would mean that we're maybe possibly almost done with this chapter. I thought there was only going to be five chapters. Oh, these people. I forgot about them. Wait, what, is there anything up here? Yeah, it's Alphys. Uh, oh, Chris, Chris, you're okay. I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, well don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know, you're not in trouble. But, well, let me know if you need anything. It's a dirty trash can. It's a trash... It's a trash can full of well-cut flowers. Saucer of milk. Oh, oh Chris, did, did you want to talk about something? Saucer. Oh, this saucer of milk? It's from our kitty, Mew Mew. He's a perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Oh, well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think it's a cat. That there's a cat. My cat. Oh, Chris, did, did you want to talk about something? Chalk. Even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um, my homemade DVD collection of the symptoms. Symptoms or symptoms? Symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family? I've got, it's got every episode in all 28 seasons. And it's the funniest, most colorful show ever. But, oh, here she goes. The main problem about that is that it's kind of lost in the focus of family uh, when their vehicles were shaped like animals and they were friends with all the animal vehicles and then it's not getting into some of the spouse who worked for the symptoms to cover another earth and on the other side of the earth. Wouldn't the carol taste the wheel just, huh? You don't want to watch it. That's okay, Chris. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He always asks me how you're doing in school and gives me a bouquet of them. I actually think that... It Actually, that he always gives me flowers really makes me wonder if he likes me. If if he likes the yeah, awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could, could kick my ass. Alright, that's nice talking to you. Thanks for not making me have to worry about getting in trouble. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. Haha. -ha. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but... Uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when that ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid, and kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Then, Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us that handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Haha. <laughs> I disagree. Now. Yo, Chris, you look kind of annoyed. Everything okay? You can calm down now, dude. Susie's not here, huh? You look even more annoyed. Oh, yeah. Um, yo, Chris, you look kind of... Okay. Boy, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know? Aw. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to... You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. Ha ha ha. If I skip class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. Ha ha ha. That's actually not even remotely funny. Alright, I'm out of here. What else we got? Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Okay. Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told you about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Oh boy. That's an interesting question. Alright. We got one more place to visit, and it's the south of town, excuse me. If there even is any way to go this way. Bye everybody, I'm out of here, peace. Or not. Okay, we got a sealed door here. It's locked. Okie dokie.
That'll probably be important later in the game, I'm assuming. Time to go home. Oh, it's fun. Exploring town, talking to everybody. Wait. Oh, never mind. I wanted to just check the car real quick. Whatever. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? Oh, crap. I pressed the button again. I keep pressing the wrong button that skips dialogue, and, like, that's what happens when you're not using a controller, I guess. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. Oh, I guess you made me a pie. But do not eat it all this time, all right? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, I can check the car now. It's your mom's van. That's all it says. Okay. Back again? Why? You are you are active today, are you not? Perhaps you can use some of that energy to wake me up, up on time? Your brother cannot carry you to school anymore, you know. It's the TV. It doesn't seem to... Yeah. Chris? What is that, honey? Me. Chris, honey, you've grown up so much. Someday, someday soon, you will be going off to, the, to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in? So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you were up for months. Whatever happened to it? Chris? Flowers. Oh, Chris? Oh, Chris? Flowers? For your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Er, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Chris? Astriel. Remember that video game you and Astriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Hi. Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Never mind. Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite yourself. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. The door is locked. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yes. Guys, that's going to be the end of this episode of Under De Undertale. Deltarune, sorry. Uh, Deltarune, chapter 1, episode 3. That's what this is. Um, yeah. But what about saving the game? Crap. Uh, <laughs> sorry, but I just wanted to see what would happen. I didn't know I would toss you out of bed there, buddy. Uh, am I sleepwalking? What the hell? Okay, he's moving on his own. Oh, he's reaching for something. What the hell? Uh... The fuck was that? I'm so confused right now. Did... I just rip my soul out of my body? Now I have a knife. I'm looking at the door, and it's got an evil smile. Uh... Delta room.
But still shining in the cold with the truth, the promise in our Alrighty then. That was beautiful. Alrighty then. Continue to chapter two. I'm gonna save, I think, and then we'll end the episode there. Because I want to make sure that I don't not have a save point, I guess, in the next chapter. This will start chapter two in file slot one. Sure, why not? Chris? Chris, honey, are you awake? What? Wait! Is that a... A knife? Whoa! Chris, did you eat all the pie? No. Is it, it is your knife in this empty tin, is it not? Oh, Chris, am I going to have to lock the oven again? <laughs> well, hurry out of bed. It is time for school. I don't know, should I just assume that we saved since we started the chapter two at our save spot? Yeah, I think that'll work. That, that should be cool. I think we can end the episode here. We'll start chapter two. Should be fine, right? Let me look it up. I want to be sure about this. I don't want to mess something up on accident. Um. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. Uh, if it's not, I think I'm so... I'll, I'll just skip talking to everybody in town, I guess, worst case scenario, but I don't think we're going to have to deal with that. I'm pretty sure we're going to start back where we were just at, seeing our mom getting upset about us eating all the pie again. I'm very, very curious as to what that weird thing was about with him waking up and shooting his heart out. It's a birdcage when the door's closed, there's no escape. Pulling his heart out of his chest and, and throwing it into this, because what, what's confused me is all the choices I've made so far shouldn't have made him like that. You know what I mean? I don't know, I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of Deltarune Chapter 1. Look forward to Deltarune Chapter 2 coming up in the next episode. Love you guys. Uh, I'm trying to get the frick out of this. This game is a little bit wonky on my computer. Okay. Uh, here we go. Have a great! <laughs>